In this video, we're gonna take a look at five powerful Apple motion effects that you should know about. I have a video of this guy looking quite distraught here, looking at a burning building, and I would love to make it look like he's really disoriented to what's going on around him. To do so, we'll select our footage, we'll go to filters, go down to time, and we're going to select wide time. Immediately, you can already start to see a difference. It almost looks like there's a bit of motion blur or something to this video. But what we can do is come on over to the left side and drag up stuff like the duration and decay and amount. And now pushing play, we can see how this effect really changes how the shot feels. This next effect is super fun for making your different motion graphics feel like a sticker pack. I have this basic logo in here and I wanna make it feel like a sticker. So I'm simply gonna go on up to filters, go down to distortion, and then we'll go ahead and select page curl. You can already see it starting to take place and by default, it will be animated through, which is really nice. But if you don't want to animate it on its own, you can come on over to the left side, find the animate checkbox and disable that. Now we have full control over this percent slider for how this page curl will take place. We can also adjust stuff like the radius. So if you want more or less of this being curled at once, you can adjust if there's a shadow from the curl. I happen to really like how it looks with the shadow. You can choose a highlight color. So you can see now that I've set the highlight blue, it's starting to look blue on the backside as I drag up that percent. We can also change the back color. So if you don't want it to match what the front looks like, we could go ahead and give it a nice back color and drag up the opacity on that. So now it's just a solid backing. This next effect is incredible when you wanna add a bit of glow onto whatever you're working with. I've got this basic text that says neon. Let's go on up to filters, go down to glow, and we will of course select the neon glow effect. You can already see it starting to take place. The darker parts of the image are going to receive less glow than the brighter parts of the image. And we can go ahead and drag up the outer glow amount, maybe take down the outer brightness so that it's a little bit more subtle, but you can see that as I increase that, that outer glow gets brighter and brighter. We can adjust the inner glow brightness. And what's really cool is when you drag this all the way to zero, it gives our text this really interesting look, which I love to to play around with. You'll notice that as I drag up and down that inner glow brightness, how that's also affecting the look of our text. So this is just super fun to play around with. And finally, we have edge intensity. So you can see that we have these nice sharp edges, but if I drag that down to zero, we suddenly have almost no text effect. It's just the glow. Oftentimes when I'm in motion, I'll get a graphic just like this one, but I don't really have a way to change the color. What I did previously was way too many steps. I would select the graphic, go to filters, go to color, and then select colorize. I would then choose the color I want the graphic to be. So let's say we want it to be blue. And then I would also change the remap white to, so I just drag that down there. So now both the black and white channels are the same color and that would eventually colorize my graphic. But there's a way better effect inside of motion that would save me a lot of time. Rather than using the colorize effect, instead go to filters, go down to stylize, and then select fill. Now we can set this to whatever color we want and it's changed in a matter of seconds. But there's also another huge benefit and that is that we can change it from either color over to gradient. So now we can adjust this gradient and completely colorize this object with a beautiful gradient in just a matter of seconds. This last effect is something I just discovered while making this video. And it's something I really wish I had known about early on. So I have this cityscape I downloaded off of Envato Elements and I want some text to receive these really bright light elements onto it. Let's go ahead and add a title object. Now to really show this effect, I'm going to change the color of my title, but this effect would work regardless of the color of this title. So let's go on over to our appearance and let's just set it to a nice black color. From there, we can jump on over into our properties and go to our blend mode. With our blend mode selected, let's go on down to light wrap. Now it's gonna be hard to see at first, but if we expand out light wrap and drag up the amount, you can start to see how my title is actually taking on the colors of the background. And if we really wanna see it, I can drag this amount slider all the way up. So now it almost looks like there's a transparent version of my title. Again, this is just the title receiving the colors of the backdrop. We could drag down the intensity. So now just the brightest parts of the image are actually bleeding over onto our title. 
we can bring up the intensity scale if we want to, and we can back down the opacity. If you found this video helpful and you wanna take your knowledge of Apple Motion to another level, then I'm gonna strongly suggest you check out my brand new Apple Motion Masterclass. In my Masterclass, I have over seven and a half hours of deep training on Apple Motion so that you can go from knowing absolutely nothing about it to using it in your everyday professional life. I've also done an exclusive live stream with Apple Motion Masterclass members, and I plan to do some more here in the near future that you don't wanna miss out on. Plus, there's an exclusive Discord channel where you can ask any questions you have about Apple Motion, and I will do my very best to answer them. If you're interested, I do have a special 20% off discount down in the description as a thank you for watching this far in the video. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.